Hi, so I still haven't quite figured out what I want to talk about when I do these videos, but one thing I've really noticed over the past few weeks um, relates to something else I was diagnosed with, which is fibromyalgia. And when I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, I very quickly realised that a lot of the worst of those symptoms, the, the brain work, the fog, the pain um, and the fatigue all kicked off when I was experiencing too much sensory input and I went off and did some investigating because I was thinking I'm sure I have autism and this certainly ties in with autism but, but maybe it's fibromyalgia, maybe, maybe it's this thing instead. And I discovered that, yeah, um, sensory overload can be a thing. Hypersensitivity to external stimuli is part of fibromyalgia. But there's also potentially some overlap between fibromyalgia and, and um, autism. And even more pertinently, I'm hypermobile. I, I'm extensively double jointed across my whole body when I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia I was also diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos hypermobility and there is a huge overlap between autism and joint hypermobility um, probably due to proprioception issues which um, for those who don't know it's, it's a phrase I take for granted because a word I take for granted because I teach aerial circus skills and proprioception is a huge part of movement proprioception is one of our six senses um, it's not one that is talked about as much as the basic five but it's our ability to sense where our body is in space it's your ability to take your arm right out to the side shut your eyes and touch your nose without missing which I can do as you just saw um, and it's something that I'll talk about in more detail in another video because a lot of my stimming is proprioception based. My synesthesia has a degree of proprioception in it. Um, and yeah, it's definitely a sense that I'm very interested in, um, both from a professional point of view and a um, just about me point of view. So anyway, so yes, aerial circus instructor, that's my second job um, and I've just had a week off from my first job and that might be why my fibromyalgia symptoms have died right down especially the pain I am in the least pain I have been in since I first went on medication for fibromyalgia um, this is the least pain I have been in since I was in my teens and it could be to do with the fact that I've had a week off from a new job, which I find very tiring, very stressful, um, emotionally quite difficult. There's a lot of sensory input and I'm dealing with a lot. And again, it's something I'll talk about in more detail another day. But what I think is actually going on has got far more to do with my autism diagnosis because I think well, I know I am noticing more often when things are bothering me and I'm more likely to voice when something is bothering me. I'm more likely to turn around. Even in just the few weeks since I was, I was given this, I'm more likely to turn around and say, actually, you know what? Oh, that doesn't work for me. Um, or to say, actually, that bothers me, but I can live with it. And there's almost a sense of, in making that decision for myself, a feeling like it's okay and I actually can live with it. I, I actually can let go, which I've never been able to do in the past. Um, so I feel like maybe, maybe the fibromyalgia is actually part of the autism maybe I should never have had that diagnosis or maybe it's part of it um, maybe the pain is 
my body's way of telling me when something's wrong because I don't know how to listen properly. I don't understand properly what's going on. I don't feel hunger and interpret hunger signals properly. As same with thirst. I know that about myself. I've known that for a long time. So maybe this pain is just my body's way of saying something's up and you're not listening. You need to take this more seriously. Something's up. And of course, I don't. Or I wasn't. And now I am. And I'm in more pain today. And I was wondering why I felt really anxious. I was thinking, is it to do with the fact the clocks have changed? Is it what's going on? I've had a really nice day. I've seen my parents um, for the first time in a while. I've seen my brother and his wife for the first time in a really long time. We've had a good meal. It's been a really nice day. The weather's been great. I've done a lot of things I enjoy doing. I've talked a lot about how I'm feeling, which always makes me feel better. I like talking about myself. Um, so why am I now sitting here feeling anxious? I put the little one to bed and it was a fight to get him down because he was so tired. So could it have been that? Except it didn't start for another hour after that. And I just thought, I'm back to work tomorrow. And I think that's what the problem is. I think that's why I'm suddenly feeling all the pain again. So I think having the week off is being part of it. But I think being aware that my brain doesn't function the way the brains we are taught about at school and through media, the fact that I don't work the same way and I need to figure out how I do work and accept that I do work differently, accept myself a bit more and listen to myself and not let my concerns about not fitting in and not being normal, not let that worry me. And maybe, maybe I will get somewhere with this pain. Maybe. Anyway, just some thoughts.